you're watching Cox Connections only on Cox 11. Young people in foster care are far more likely to endure homelessness, poverty, compromised health, unemployment, and incarceration after they leave the foster care system. As a way to help these at-risk young people, New Vision Youth Services was formed so they could reach self-sufficiency by the age of 21. Clara Wilson, founder and CEO of New Vision Youth Services, is here with me now to talk about how this organization is changing the trajectory of kids aging out of foster care. Clara, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Let, let me start. I understand that before you founded uh, New Vision Youth Services that you were already working with kids in foster care. Talk about that experience and, and what you learned. Several years ago, I uh, worked for an independent living facility where I taught life skills to foster care youth that was in and aging out of the foster care system. That experience as far as seeing homelessness, uh, once you see it, it never leaves you. And so we are seeking to make changes here in Virginia. Okay. What are we seeing for youth who are aging out of, out of foster care? What are some of the, the statistics out there? Here in the state of Virginia, um, some of the statistics show that there are currently over 5,300 kids in the foster care system. Um, the state of Virginia, there are basically, um, when children, youth are in the foster care system, one out of every five they age out become homeless. Um, in Hampton Roads, there are currently over 400 youth in the foster care system. And I would system. imagine that, I mean, with 5,300 children in foster care every year, there are a lot of kids who are reaching that age, age out, yes. and and what happens at that point when they when they age out does the, do their entire support structure does it go away well when a youth reach the age 18 they have the option of staying in and joining an independent living facility as far as program um, when they stay in um, of course they have the option the, op the opportunity to obtain the GED or going to as far as go to college or stay into program to further their education, or if they choose to get out um, at age, age, age 18, they have only 60 days to um, come back into the system. There's currently a Senate bill that we've been working on, Senate Bill 862, which will extend the time frame here in Virginia from 60 days to 180 days. That's a huge decision That's for an 18-year-old yes. to make. Correct. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. And most of the time when they turn 18, they may choose, they may say, well, I, I'm on my, I would like to get out and I can make it on my own. But by the time the 60 days is over, it's too late. And then that's where you have a crisis of where they're on their own, no family, no support system. So there's some legislative work that you're doing. There's some other initiatives that you're taking. You mentioned earlier the extended uh, family connection and I guess working with TCC on a great expectation program there. Through the, ex the, the uh, great expectation program, it's an excellent program that's currently already there at TCC. It is um, shared at many of the colleges here in the state of Virginia. And uh, the Great Expectation Program help actually students to obtain a higher education. These students um, may not have a family, may not have family support, may not have a connection. And through our project, the Extended Family Connection Project, we will be providing wraparound services through mentoring and teaching as far as life skills to help the students as far as to reach. Um, a stage where they can become self-sufficient adults. Well, it sounds like you clearly are making a difference. Some, you know, youth, their life has been turned around and put on a, on a positive, in a positive direction. You've stated that uh, New Vision Youth Services will define success one youth at a time. How are you doing that? Our organization is incorporated here in Hampton Roads, but through a social media page, as we have over 2,000 friends and fans, we connect with youth in many countries that will tap in through instant messages with our organizations that are seeking resources. We post data from many advocates that we have connected to, um, over four or 500 advocates on our fan page that share information mm -hmm. um, that re provide resources that directly affect foster care youth that's now, in the you system. You spoke of advocacy and there are gonna be people looking at this segment and they're going to say, I want to join you. I want to get with Clara and, and uh, New Vision Youth Services to help. How can we, what, can, what do you need from the, from the community? We mostly rely on a team of dedicated volunteers, students, interns from universities here in the area. Um, we are looking to put 
re reliable mentors on our team. So volunteers, volunteers. And can they send a check as well? Yes, they can. And they can send money. Yes, we yeah. would love to have well, you listen, send Well, listen, we're yes. out of time, but yes. Claire, thank you for all you're doing. You're going to have to come back on the show and talk a little bit more about some of the successes that you're, you're, uh, you're having with your organization. After the break, available in public schools throughout Southampton Roads, this foundation has been helping students pursue a college education for more than 20 years. Learn more when we return. We'll be right back with more Cox Connections.